So let's take Rainer today. Okay, Rainer, give us your testimony of how you fought the battle during the second pregnancy. Is it okay to hear some testimonies before we start praying? Yes, yes. How, how many of you agree that these testimonies with the scriptures will help us to fight the battles of our own life? Yes. Yes, Nisha, over to you. You are on the hot seat today because <laughs> everything is coming from you. Praise the Lord. Yes, Not praise from Lord. me, brother, from Holy Spirit. Yes, okay. Yeah. okay. I, I, before I start, I just want to share uh, that uh, I we were listening to you today on the YouTube. Okay. Uh, we are just keeping the line on, on mobile, on Zoom because maybe you will call any time because you said tomorrow. So we said maybe that tomorrow may come someday. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for not. No, 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 brother. I want to tell something now. I uh, want to tell something now. So uh, at the end, like before you wind up, you call Reiner's name. I was just telling Reiner. If there is any testimonies today, I will raise my hand because our testimony is what exactly what brother is preaching today. So uh, I want to raise my hand and uh, want to give the testimony today itself. Just in five minutes, you said, uh, Baba, today Reiner, tell Reiner to give his testimony. And we are, it's just like you heard what we are speaking here in Sydney, in our home, over there sitting. In Dubai, in Dubai, the connection is getting connected. <laughs> yes. Isn't the Holy Spirit wonderful? Yes. And, 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 and I, I, I always keep the doors open. People might call me the most unorganized preacher. But that's the way I have lived my life. And I continue to live my life because in my life, everything happens suddenly. And in that suddenly, it is such a beautiful time that I see the glory of God happening suddenly. Yes. Like, like that day, you, you all were not, at that time, you all were not there. Uh, you, you could see one, one person screaming on top of the voice when the girl started walking. Yes, that is Yes. She Selvita. could not control herself. She just went crazy. She was in yeah. some hysteria, they say, no? Somewhere yes. <laughs> out of the out of the world, she was screaming yes. on top of the yes. voice. And in Kuwait, if you scream that loud, and that too in the hall, the and and down is the road. You see, yes. she, she has just come to cover, that and, that time. Was, uh, <laughs> and that to a lady screaming, it will be a real problem. Praise yes. God. Yes. 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 Tell me. I just I just want to make a prayer before starting, brother. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this moment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking total control over our mind, our thinking, every word that comes out of our mouth, which is going to only glorify you and you alone, Master, for whatever you have done in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. In Jesus' Amen. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah, brother. Uh, after uh, Renisha's, Renisha has been born and she has come out and we were doing all this, uh, something was uh, always going on with me that um, whenever I see somebody pregnant or whenever I see someone who will tell the symptoms like what I have been facing, so I, I couldn't take it. So what I used to do is, um, I know uh, Selvita, she has this uh, prayer. Uh, she has delivered two babies, uh, normal and um, without pain uh, and completely healthy. So I used to take the uh, prayer for pregnancy from her and I used to give to the people. So... Uh, the prayer is 
Uh, I have changed it little according to my situations also. Every time, whatever the doctor has told me during second pre pregnancy, I have added everything. So it is, thank you, Jesus, that your spirit is upon me and you have anointed me, loved me, forgiven me, and set me free from every curse. Lord, according to your word in Galatians 3.13, Christ has redeemed me from the curse of miscarriage, morning sickness, labor pain, bleeding, high blood pressure, variation in fluid, and anything which is not of God's kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. A baby girl or a boy is conceived in my womb. Thank you, Jesus, for the healthy, anointed baby is coming out after completing nine months. Thank you, Jesus, for the seed of child which you have planted in my womb and you are only going to deliver the baby completely normal. In the name of Jesus, no blade shall touch my body. Thank you, o holy angels, for going ahead of me and making ways from the day of conception till the day of normal delivery. Thank you, Jesus, for showing us the right hospital your chosen doctor and the right medications. Thank you, Jesus, that your presence goes with me wherever I go and you have given me rest today. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Nisha, there yes. is one demand now. Yes. Imagine what will be the demand. I will share this surely, brother. Okay. So, so after you finish your testimony, you have to type yes. the whole thing. Okay. Yes. And, yeah. and put it on the chat, okay? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Continue. Yeah. If, if, if uh, my, if uh, till then, Reiner, if you can take a photograph of that picture, of that prayer, and send it to Marina, she will do the fire. Quick typing. She has got a lightning speed it's, typing. It's, it's already typed. Uh, just have to add Marina's number and send on WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Marina, put your number. Come on, it's coming. Yeah. Is, isn't this wonderful? The warriors who have won the battle, okay, they have got their arms and ammunition ready, <laughs> got the victory, and they are yeah. saying to other, other yeah. sisters, other family members, hey, come on, you don't have to go through all that. I can yeah. give you, today we learned, when I have, when I'm ignorant, then I get the hit from the devil, in yeah. spite of Jesus doing everything for me on the cross. Yes. But when I have the tools, now Satan becomes powerless. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Rainer is doing his job. You can continue. Yeah, yeah, brother. Uh, so after two years of Renisha born, one of our cousin, uh, Rainer's cousin, in fact, she was pregnant and she was going through uh, similar sy symptoms like too much morning sickness. She was not able to eat anything, have anything, whatever she has. Uh, she used to vomit like nothing used to remain with her. So um, I couldn't hear that. So I told Rainer that just get her here. Let her stay with us because she has just come to Kuwait and she has been pregnant within a few months. So uh, then we made her stay uh, with us. Then we were, by then we were always keeping the word of God and we were confessing. So we gave her the prayer. And she was with us for some time. Then she was completely healed. And she was telling the prayer uh, until uh, her delivery completely. And she had a complete normal delivery with a baby weighing about three and a half kilo, I think nearing to four, but a complete healthy delivery. Uh, maybe she felt very slight pain. Uh, but the baby was completely normal. So this is the first person I have given this prayer and I felt so much joy, so much joy that when I heard it was something like this. So I'm like, Holy Spirit, you are so good. So you have given the first victory now that the baby is healthy and it's like I delivered the baby <laughs> normal. It was so amazing. Praise God. Yes, praise God. Um, so after that, uh, whoever I meet, I used to give, then it was like, 
uh, later it was my turn. So when we decided that we are uh, going to have our second baby, so I started confessing this prayer from the time we decided, like maybe it's uh, one year ago, one year ago. Hello, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear, I can hear everything is correct. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I started confessing this prayer one year ago and uh, it was going on uh yeah, then the, yeah. she was uh, listening uh, to the word of god and uh, when the baby was conceived the word was uh, when the baby is in the womb the word was uh, the baby is listening to the word yeah. day and night when she was listening and uh, every time the uh, uh, praise and worship hymns every time when i sleep uh, i used to listen to the praise and worship hymn the every praise to our God or the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Uh, all these hymns or the preaching every night that used to be our uh, journey every night because now every time we used to get a thought even though we are doing all this we used to get a thought that first last, time it was last time what had happened. yeah last time what had happened because you know even the doctor <laughs> doctors will think based on the earlier one so every time whatever the doctor will say we used to come home we used to cancel and we used to continue with this even after doing all this exactly when i was again five and a half months renisha me reiner all three of us caught with the viral fever exactly at five and a half months uh, when it was 23 or 24 weeks and uh, I had to go to the hospital then the doctor said it is very severe and this then she gave the medication then she straight away wrote five days no working you have to take complete rest she wrote the uh, leave, sick leave for me and I was resting meantime Renisha also had got this and the temperature was not coming down at all even after the medication so there was a big fight now yeah there was, between, there was a big yes. fight uh, going on between the mind and we were confessing the word we were listening to the preachings and uh, it's very loud and clear uh, the lies of the devil he was always talking see exactly it's five and a half months i'm going through the same thing but we were fighting but we know the word and we overcome the devil by the uh, blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We were just confessing. And Nisha was better. Uh, Renisha was better. And now I, it was last, it was me. And uh, I, the temperature was not coming down. And it's happened that you called uh, and we went to Sister Cynthia's house that day to stay with her. And uh, uh, it happened that you called that day and you just said uh, uh, this scripture you yeah, at the presence of God every mountains are melted like wax at the presence of God you just but listen one thing is there, but one thing is there I hardly call up sister Cynthia yeah okay and if I have to call for, suddenly something comes to my mind and I will call otherwise for more than six months I don't call at all yes so that so, day I called and you all were there. Yes. yes. And this was the scripture yes. I said. Yes. And uh, then I started to listen because the fever was so much that I was not able to confess everything. Anything. I was just listening. And I started to listen uh, to the uh, song. And first song finished. Second song, when it was almost like finishing, I was burst like crying. Burst of crying. I was crying, 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 almost like half an hour, one hour. And what, when the what, cry what is song over, was that? What song was that? Uh, it's uh, Brother Joe's song, um, where he's singing. Um, Touch the... The woman with the issue of blood? With the issue, issue of blood. blood. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's over in the sea. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. okay. So, and I was burst of crying for a, almost like an hour. When that finished, there was no trace of fever and it was totally vanished. The mountain was 
literally gone. So when exactly the five and a half months came, so the pressure was so, so much, much from the other side, but thank God the word was there and we were able to fight back and we came out victorious and she was able to complete her whole pregnancy, pregnancy. and this is the anointed child. anointed child and she is super intelligent <laughs> both of them praise god. praise god praise god and what about the ninth month when you were about to go for pregnant for the delivery how was that it was yeah, smooth at the end, uh, she was almost uh, finishing ninth closest month. Ninth month, yeah. Yeah. Two. That time it was a regular checkup. We went and the doctor said uh, she had uh, kind of increase in the blood pressure. No, no, no. Uh, there was something in the urine. Uh, she wanted to have a look, so she got me admitted. Then it was not coming at, to control. Then she said that the baby baby is completely fine. Uh, because of your old this one I don't want to take any uh, you know uh, risk or something so we'll just uh, get uh, make deliver. yeah delivery yes. yeah 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 by then baby was already uh, about two and a half kilo and uh, baby was healthy and everything was good uh, so, so I two and a half kilo and the first baby was 620 grams yes 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 uh, but when she delivered, she was actually to 2.600. So it was much more. Praise God. Yeah. yeah. But this, this time, brother, it was like, because we had the word, I did everything. I, I ate everything I could. In the name of Jesus, there was no morning sickness as I was confessing in that word. In the name of Jesus, there was no no issue no vomiting and uh, during renisha's time i could even not even smell uh, of the fish the fish smell shouldn't come from anywhere i used to puke but this is the time i had a lot of fish and i i like to eat a lot of fish with fish curry whoever used to ask me that what do you want to have so i used to say fish that's it so then they used to cook and they used to bring me so it's like lord is providing all the desires of the heart and i used to drive until till the day i uh, uh, go for checkup i i i i went to work i drive sometime i had to go to customers location it was almost uh, 45 50 minutes drive i mean it's almost towards the desert but still because we had this word even reiner was not afraid to send me to that way and i was not afraid to drive so long even when i was i mean uh, seven months or five months six months whatever it was like all complete completely normal in jesus name yes Amen. Amen. So, so, so somebody has sent me another uh, message. If uh, you can keep this uh, prayer also. All Praise scriptures. God. I have a perfect, healthy, normal baby. Praise I have God. a perfect pregnancy. Yes. I have a perfect, short, easy, painless delivery with no complication. The baby is positioned properly and will come out properly. Head yes. first raised down and will rotate as it should. I cover my Lacinta, uterus and umbilical cord with the blood of Jesus. Nothing from my body can filter into my baby unless Jesus says it can. The blood of Jesus purifies everything that goes into the baby to keep it perfect. The cord is the perfect length and is positioned right where the Lord wants it. I claim Psalm 91 for the protection of the baby. The baby is going to come precisely when the Lord has foreordained. We have a good baby that is easy to take care of. We have a happy, smiling, pleasant nature baby. I'm not going to tear at all or have any other adverse effects from the labor or delivery. Just remove that labor, okay? We have laborless delivery. <laughs> I'm not going to get any stitch marks, varicose veins, 
broken blood vessels, drying, peeling skin, puffy or swollen legs or ankles, or any other negative symptoms of pregnancy. I'm going to have perfect figure after the baby is born. I think this one we should orbit. I think this one will be on the top list. I have perfect healthy blood and perfect circulation. We are scriptural parents and we know how to bring up our children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. I'm not going to gain weight during pregnancy, put, on, put in own weight. As soon as the devil brings fear to my mind, I immediately cast it out. I put all my trust in Jesus, not in the flesh. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Therefore, I speak life to my baby with, without tongue. We command it to live. The baby and I get a proper amount of rest each day. God bless you. Abba, that Let's was from, from my wife. Sorry? That's from Marita, my wife. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Jude, I know your wife has sent me. Yeah, yeah. You saw she has got a perfect figure even now. The problem is she came outside the room and said that that I is well, Papa, that I sent. <laughs> That's why I know now how come she's so slim. <laughs> so there you should add now. You she's next not slim. She has put on weight. <laughs> no, no, no. Next pregnancy, she will put one extra line. I am in perfect figure, and because of my pregnancy, my husband has become that got into perfect figure. So Jude, oh. next pregnancy. You already confessing that. Huh? He must be already confessing that. Hallelujah. In this lockdown, people are putting weight by God's grace. My weight is reduced. <laughs> Praise God. So, 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 a bad experience always wants to keep us in bondage. But it is through the word of God. And, and when that month was the same corresponding month, it must have brought extreme uh, battle. But in this extreme battle, you all fought the battle and you all got victory. The good news is when the battle begins and you use the word of God, you do not come out of the battle the same. You come out like champions. And today when you get test, uh, people asking you, Rainer and Nisha, what do you find yourself? Warriors or chickened out? Warriors. Because you all know and you know if you follow the system, the result is always victorious. That is the main reason we, we just packed up everything and we went to sister's house because we wanted the fellowship. Because we all, all were like, we were in that hot seat. So we only want to hear the positivity. And, and, and sister Cynthia could have said, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you come to my house with that virus. No, never, never. They are champions who will say, you came with the virus, you'll go out of my house with the virus killed. No. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And, she, yes. and even if you come with that virus, she would have been smiling and taking you in her arms and saying, don't worry, by the time I hug you, that virus is dead. Yes. I think and, once, and, once we should get Sister Cynthia on the line. Yes, praise God. We will, we will tell her. Does she come on the Zoom? Uh, she watches on the YouTube, I think. Uh, she doesn't come on the Zoom. So you have to be get get behind her to get her on the Zoom, okay? That's yes. Let's get her on the line. And, and one more thing, brother, hmm. that uh, during this time, the second pregnancy, um, we have uh, we know now life and death is in the power of our tongue. So we don't want any negative seed, not from us, not from uh, others, not from outsiders or anybody's negative seeds to come upon us. So we haven't informed that I was pregnant or uh, I'm going through this and that or whatever, uh, unless those people who are in the world and who will only build us up and not tear us down. It, it, only our very close family members like my mom and uh, Reiner's family. Other than that, nobody else knew until the baby came out healthy and normal, complete nine months because we don't want any negative seed to come upon our baby. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. 
So God bless you all. So Rainer, you can make a prayer. Uh, okay, Rainer, there were, there were many people who called you after that who had premature babies. So can you share some of the testimonies that you went through? Uh, one uh, we would like to share, brother, in Kuwait, um, uh, she, she is a counselor in a school and uh, uh, because of uh, some issues in the pregnancy, she got admitted and uh, then we got in connection. Then uh, she, when she was in the hospital, uh, we gave her the word, she started confessing. Uh, she, see, according to the doctor, she should have been delivered the child immediately when she entered the hospital. Because she was confessing, the pregnancy went in the hospital for almost like a one month plus. Yeah. Wow. After, yes. after that, she delivered and uh, they kept the child inside uh, in the hospital. See, in our place, it, uh, it took us for six months just to know the word. Once we knew the word, it was just two months the baby was out. Now for this baby, the mama was confessing one month before the delivery and within a month or so the baby was out and the baby is completely... Yesterday she messaged, she saw the testimony and she messaged the baby is uh, started talking now, started walking. Praise God. Praise God. So that was the difference. Otherwise they would have been went through the rough time same like us. So that, that is the... Uh, any, any, the any more testimonies? Yeah, and there was uh, one in Canada and uh, uh, some in uh, UK, some in Dubai, so, and somebody from Bangalore as well. So there are many brothers. Well, eh, eh, the, the, these people begin to call you and how do you feel now that your journey that you went through has now become a journey of victory for you and so many who don't know where to turn you are able to uh, lead them through the scriptures and now you see their babies are healthy how do you feel it's it's, oh, it's all amazing. glory of god amazing <laughs> so did you ever think that when your baby was sick that god was actually building up your ministry with practical training it's good. No, no, we never thought it but god's god's plans are different and it's all uh, with mysterious plans and he will turn everything for his glory. Praise God. Amazing. Amazing, not only, not only in that area, brother, in every area, God is really amazing in our life. So yeah, now, we... now coming to Sydney, uh, yeah. you must be feeling very lonely in a new country. <laughs> no. Ah, no. <laughs> We, we didn't even felt the See, it's transit. Just, it's just a six month and we not are feeling, even six months. Not even six months. We are feeling like we are here from years. <laughs> how, how did the means what, what happened? Okay. Uh, before coming only we happened to speak to you and uh, you, you got connected us with uh, Brother Francis and Sister Teresa and uh, when we arrived so everything, even the house, the things, everything was in place and we were just came in and everything was ready for us. You know, the, house, the house, things were ready means what? Um, when we spoke to you and when you spoke to them about we coming, um, uh, they said they were also thinking about uh, a flat and exactly this, when we spoke, said that we are coming and we, they said, they were wanted to buy a flat and the same thing happened at the same time and it's just God's timing for them and they decided to go for that flat and then we came and the house was ready and the basic things also they had prepared for us, uh, kept us ready. So, so you mean to say they bought a flat, Yeah. all the basic necessities all loaded in the flat, Yes. Yes. prepared yes. everything for you all Yes. to come and get into the new flat. Yes. And, and after that, when we came here, uh, or whatever the registration or whatever the, the uh, registration procedures, with, it just happened supernaturally. Whenever we used to go, we used to tell the Spirit of the Lord is upon this person and the favor of God is upon us. And these uh, things should happen so quickly. Even uh, people were telling whenever you go to so, such countries, you'll get at least six months to get settled, get a job. And in my case, I never tried a job. 
within one month i got a job not even within one week you got a call yeah within one week i got a call and within one month i joined to the company so it's it just god's uh, favor and so it looks yeah. like it looks like god has planned for you as you got rooted in the word and as you began to seek his kingdom everything is taken care of yes 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 when we seek his kingdom and everything will be added unto you so and and what about nisha how is she i am very good brother taking care of kids <laughs> so how do you feel how do you feel having such a big job in kuwait now uh, without a job becoming now a job at home praise god it's a big transition but we can do all things through christ who strengthens us praise god and brother for whatever this has happened we we have been confessing for that at least one year or two years before that uh, he lord has given us the power confidence and boldness courage and strength to stand firm and to do the things which we could not do before thank you jesus for putting the right people into our lives and taking us to the right places at the right time thank you jesus for instructing us and teaching us in the way we should go thank you jesus for counseling us with your loving eye upon us so this was our prayer it was stuck to our room and every day we used to say so, that so it looked like that word which you are speaking for 2 years was like a pregnancy and when the pregnancy was ready yes. all that god said is come on now let's go for delivery so the delivery was from kuwait to sydney yes. and after that you are feeling like you have been in sydney for a long time yes now yes. you are in kuwait you all were very strong in the ministry there in kuwait now you came to a new country how 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 is the ministry going on are you are you all caught up in the four walls or are you all doing something now no, we are we are also active partner in the team brother francis there is francis this is there is a team okay so now we got a transfer from uh, jclm kuwait to jclm sydney <laughs> so so the branch was already there yes praise yes god. praise god thank god for the branches around the world and yes. thank god for all the wonderful people that god has put in our life and especially the heads who are rooted in the word yes. it is easy to work with somebody who is rooted in the word very difficult to work with somebody who is not in the word okay but trying to do the the work of the lord then it becomes very very fleshy and creates more problem in the ministry praise god so god bless you all let's see how many of them are there today today there is not are there any hands yes there are hands come on let's go and finish the good work of the lord yes thank you so much rainer i just make a closing prayer we just make prayer for everybody for their children and those who are in transit those who are looking for jobs those who are looking for their finances the the lord took care of everything and what happened to the things which were there in kuwait we we just uh, that is only the glory of god glory of god brother, brother. it's just you all gave everything as a gift to everybody yeah we just sowed in somebody's life whoever the lord told us to do so so i can just give you a small example when when we left, left to the airport our fridge was completely full uh, when we came means i haven't even cleared the fridge and when i come here in kuwait i see my fridge is completely full more than what i had in kuwait this is a very simple example so so it look 638 right so 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 what you are left over there fathers to take when you came to sydney you found your house where you were entering in totally loaded with all good things yes. and more than good things good people around full of love yes. and full of the best part is full of god's word amen yes amen, amen. so please pray go ahead and make a prayer heavenly father 
I thank you so much, so much for all your blessings, fruits of the blessings you have poured upon us. Lord, thank you for teaching us your truth in a practical way, not, not just theoretically, but in a practical way every day of our life as we, are, we had made a decision to live by the word. Thank you so much, Jesus, for that anointing you have put on us, in, on our family, that uh, courage you have given to us, which to only walk by your word, walk by faith and not by sight. Lord, I impart that everything which you have poured on us, on every person who is ready to receive right now, all those blessings, all the fruits of the blessings, all that anointing upon them, their children, their families, in glorious, victorious, amazing, marvelous name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What a journey. Renisha? The mighty woman of God? My Duracell? You know, Papa, when the Sydney is praying in tongues, we can hear Renisha's voice praying in tongues. Wow. Now Renisha and Diona both are praying in tongues. Praise God. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, the whole family. Now, now, if that crisis was not there, would you be where you are now? No, 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 no way, no way. No way. So today somebody asked me about the crisis. I said, uh, you know, crisis makes some people bitter. But those who turn to the Lord, they will say the best thing that happened in our life was the crisis. Because that crisis only came to change the direction of our life. And when we began to walk in the new direction of the word of God, that crisis began to help us to discover God's calling, God's purpose, God's assignment. And today I can boldly say, truly God works all things together for good for yes, those yes. who love him, whom he has called according to his purpose. Amen. Yes. Brother, for that I just want to add something. Uh, the similar thing happened when we were in Kuwait. One of our friends, uh, she got uh, pregnant after three or three and a half years of her marriage. And she had twin children. One was uh, some issue earlier only. But the second baby uh, uh, got delivered when she was five months or something. But after 12 days, the baby couldn't make it. The baby couldn't make it. Then uh, it was the same question what raised today during the teaching by someone. So why, Lord, what, why it happened? And then you were answering. Uh, that time I got the answer that maybe even we don't know what is uh, what is the thing. So, but that moment when this was all going on, we were praying because they were very close to us. Uh, they are very active in the church also. Uh, but then I just gave this small prayer, what I said, and I sent her some uh, audio teachings. And then we just uh, made a faith prayer. And I really, from my heart, I cried out to God. And I just, it, it came to my heart to say to them that from one year from now, you will be having a healthy anointed child in this house and I we just made a prayer and we came then just before we we are leaving from uh, Kuwait we just came to know that uh, she's pregnant uh, and it was just um, six uh, seven or eight months uh, these things have happened and she was pregnant so now uh, exactly after the situation has happened after one year and one month 
praise God, uh, they had moved from uh, Kuwait to India because of some uh, better things. And uh, she has given birth to twins, baby boys, healthy, anointed baby boys within one year and one month from this what tragedy has happened in their life before. So God's hands are never short. He always listens. We just have to, like all things work together for good, those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. Okay. Give so, me Isaiah 61 verse 7. Okay. Let's see what 61 7 says. Isaiah 61 7. Nisha, read it. For your shame, you shall have. Uh, I cannot see. Double. You shall have double, and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Amen. So, so God gave them double for their trouble. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Thank you.